Bridget Ayer here and I'm joined today with my husband Tom Ayer and we are going to be doing a segment on Father's Day gifts. I did a segment on Mother's Day gifts uh, about a month ago or so and I was asked to do one on Father's Day gifts and kind of do it a little bit more in advance so they have more time to get the gifts. So um, I've got some tips for Catholic fathers because it's kind of hard to be a Catholic father, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenging to be a father, period. It is challenging to be a father. Wonderfully rewarding, though. So, um, <clears throat> I'm having Tom do this with me because Tom is actually much more of a reader than I am. And uh, I'll get all these books and I'll say, will you read that and tell me, <laughs> tell me what it's about, right? <laughs> I do. But... He, yeah, you do, and you read. You always read, so it's it's really great. So um, he's actually read four of the six books that we have here, and um, so I'm going to have him talk about the ones that he's read, and I'll talk about the ones that I've read. Actually, I think you've read this one too. But anyway, and then we're going to be reading this one together. This one. <laughs> You'll be reading to, reading it to me at night, you know. But actually, I'm reading this one. So anyway, okay. So. Let's start with this one. So show the book. You can just show, put, put it up there. Put it like way up there. See? And I might, it's called Be a Man. So number one is Be a Man. So talk about that book and talk about Father Larry a little bit. Well, first and foremost, um, you have to understand that Father Larry Richards is an excellent speaker um, that's really been to a lot of different parishes. He's been to our parish a couple of times. <clears throat> and a lot of these uh, books are built off of the talks that he's given over the years, but it's a reflection on, you know, becoming the man that God created you to be. You know, it's an excellent subtitle for this because it's really kind of a reflection of his years of teaching at Catholic boys' schools, um, challenges that he encountered, uh, some of which can be um, uh, pretty difficult um, in terms of some of the topics and subject matters that are covered but at the same time he hits it head-on with uh, practical real-life experience as well as scriptures that he has um, uh, that has, have been very helpful in these particular realms as well so I like that is this and as as many have said over the years father Larry gives some terrific advice um, being a father in the Catholic Church, you know, a father to a Catholic family, to a parish, and that type of thing, has done tremendous work over the years. And as I said, teaching at an all-boys school in the Pittsburgh area as well. So, yeah, and it's got a, it's got a great cover. And if you um, you can you can find Father Larry. Um, just Google Father Larry, and uh, actually Tom read this book with our son Joseph, so that's another thing you can do, like if you're a dad, you can read it with your son, or, um, you know, if your son's old enough, they can read it themselves, but kind of, <laughs> Tom and Joseph read it together because I knew that, that Joseph would get it all. <laughs> there wasn't going to be any getting, getting out of reading the whole thing. So, okay, this is another one. This is a good, this is a good one. Tell the title, Tom. Well, this uh, strong, strong father, strong, strong daughters, um, by Meg Meeker. Um, it is a. Uh, it has been quite a while since I read this book, so it's a bit of a challenge. Not only is this a uh, presentation on books, but also a memory test as well. But it's a um, really a reflection on once again the challenges that uh, young women can face growing up as well as their, how their father's guidance can help them through some of those challenges as well as the you know practical uh, advice uh, scriptural advice and really uh, trying to help grow and create people of God being your children so because because dads matter I mean that's the bottom line dads matter and dads have a very big impact on their sons and they have a very big impact on their daughters and obviously their whole family but if you take dad out of the picture we have a lot of data through divorce that if you take dad out of the picture how detrimental that is to the family so these are two really good books 
as starters to um, consider if you're a dad or if you're a mom who wants to get a gift um, for her husband or for daughters who or children who want to get I can't talk today <laughs> who want to get um, something for your dad okay the next gift is this is an older book in fact it's probably about 20 years old maybe maybe even older than that in fact uh, if you haven't heard of Dr. Ray Gurundi first of all he's hilarious he's a Catholic psychologist and um, he's just hilarious but this book all of his books are hilarious but this one is called discipline that lasts for a lifetime and you just can't go wrong with this it's hilarious and it's got great practical advice so consider that one for your dad and what about this one Tom uh, so here we have Trent Horn he's an apologist in the Catholic Church he's and a young guy has been on uh, uh, you've probably seen him on this is from Catholic Answers Press so obviously he's turned up on the radio he's been on television and all the other new media places and the dogs are currently weighing in <laughs> on this topic as well and get they, behind me Satan <laughs> they agree that this is an excellent book so where this is uh, tremendously helpful is it's a lot more conversational if you will in terms of situations that uh, Mr. Horn has run into over the years where he's had conversations about um, the Catholic faith. He is a, uh, uh, he's a, he's a convert, um, and then, um, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty his, sure. I think Check his is. biography real quick. Um, but anyway, he is, uh, he, he is an apologist, so he is, you know, he's on campuses, he's in, uh, everyday type forums answering questions about the faith so once again this is something where it's very practical it's very conversational and you know get you getting your questions answered even if you're not necessarily um, uh, Catholic, you know, right? Catholic or looking to join the church you can learn an awful lot more about it he's now, on he's on Catholic Answers Live and um, yeah his his contents really great so you can google Trent Horn and see him on YouTube and um, listen you can call in Catholic Answers Live he's one of their normal apologists go ahead with that uh, one and then one of our speaking of converts one of our favorites uh, Dr. Scott Hahn um, he is a, a former uh, minister that converted to the faith and embraced it in an incredible way he is a very it's a very intellectual uh, look at our father uh, the, the the Lord's Prayer um, Dr. Han uh, at times it can be a little a little heavy in terms of the content but these are excellent reflections uh, biblical reflections on the Our Father but the, uh, or, or I should say, the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. You all know what I mean. <laughs> um, Don't give him the toothy smile. <laughs> the, uh, the real challenge at times is that this is something that is, in many ways you can take this book kind of in small bites where it's, you know, you cover this topic, it, you know, you may read a paragraph or a page at a time, so it may take you a, per a period of time to get it covered, but uh, it's well done. So. Yeah, Scott Hahn books um, are very deep and very intellectual and very theological. And sometimes I know in my experience with reading his books, uh, you need to kind of, there's a lot to chew on that he um, writes about. So it's, but it's great. Uh, it's great reading. Now I did a video on this whole book. Um, I'm not actually not done reading it, but this is good for dads as well it's called discovering God together and it's really about having your family as a domestic church and what that means and and it's really how to um, how to have how to get your prayer life in order how to have a relationship with your children and have family prayer with them and then out of those two things, your, your family at, is, um, is a mini church and it has a charism and a mission. So this is something I'm just delving into right now and um, we'll be reading this together and maybe come back and talk a little bit more about it. And uh, the other thing that you might want to consider for your dad, there's two other things I want to mention. If your 
husband or your dad has not been to a Catholic men's conference, I have found out there's one coming up uh, before Father's Day. It is, I want to say it's the June 15th. Um, there's a Cincinnati men's conference. It's a Catholic conference, but it's open to all men. It's June 15th in Cincinnati, and you can just uh, Google Cincinnati Men's Conference and find it. I interviewed the um, person who's kind of running that. And then another thing are, um, another person I interviewed recently, uh, Scott Williams. He is the creator and founder of um, Religious Socks. And that's, you can get saints on your socks and all sorts of cool socks. So I'll put the link to... Um, that uh, web page and that's another thing so if you're if you're if you're uh, if your dad doesn't read these are great spiritual gifts but maybe send them to a conference or a retreat or um, get them some Catholic socks so those are a couple uh, couple tips that we have for Father's Day so uh, hope uh, you can maybe get one of those and um, Tom thanks for joining me it's always a pleasure happy Father's, uh, Day. Happy Father's Day God bless everybody